Before we look ahead to the Haverford West County game, we look back to the Carnarvon Town mm. victory, 3-0, comfortable victory lots of possession another clean sheet lots of positives at the moment going on Craig yeah definitely you know I thought we controlled the game from the first whistle to the last we had plenty of opportunities we, we, we kept really good possession we worked the ball in really good areas and you know if anything if I'm going to be a little bit negative or a little bit you know a little bit of complacency maybe in front of goal where I think probably on the night we had opportunity to score more goals um, it wasn't we, we weren't at our best in front of goal. So, yeah, I'm always going to want more, you know, from the character I am, I always want more and I, we just can't get complacent with it now. We're halfway through the first phase as far as the league's concerned and we do have a healthy lead at the top, seven points over second place and 11 over third and mm. fourth. Coming into the campaign, returning back to Park Hall, you'd have settled for that before the season started. Yeah, I think I would. You know, you look at it, I would definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. You look at it, obviously, we dropped two points against Newtown first game of the season, which was disappointing. But but since then, you know, regarding that, we've never really looked back. We've scored lots of goals, kept lots of clean sheets. And, um, and, and yeah, we, we've got to the point now where, you know, 11, game, 11 league games in and we've got, a, we've got a reasonable lead. But like I said, it's only 11 games. You know, we, um, we won't be taking anything for granted because... That's when you start doing that, things start to um, catch up on you and you know, and you go backwards and, and teams catch you up in, in a bit of complacency, which is a, it's a big word in my, in my um, football thoughts, that as soon as you start getting complacent, then you know, you're in trouble. But, but it's, it's, you know, it is, it, whatever anyone says, it's a good start, but it could always be better. We travel to South Wales on Friday ahead of the game. How important are those overnight stays in terms of preparation, freshness and focus? Yeah, it is. It, it just it gives everyone a, you know, a opportunity to get a, a good night's sleep. You know, your family situations, um, lads with young children, etc., etc. It's really hard to try and, you know, get a good night's sleep the night before. So and it also brings everyone together. You know the the coach journeys down together. People are spending time together. You know in the communal areas of the hotel with the you know when we're eating together and spending time together. Then I think it's good for it's good for team morale as well and and good for bonding. So it's um it's I think it's imperative. It's very very important and and the the biggest thing as well is to leave no stone unturned and no excuse. You know if there's no excuses, then then obviously players have got to go out there and perform. Having lost the last three league games, Haverford West County find themselves at the wrong end of the table. Yeah. So they'll be looking to get back on track sooner rather than later. Yeah, they will definitely. You know, they, they, they've got a, a young, talented squad. It's obviously not going particularly well for them at this moment in time, but we will, certainly won't be underestimating them. You know, we'll, we've watched their last three games. We've, we've seen footage of them. We've got eyes on them. We've had people at games, live games to watch them as well. So that's the important part. And we'll be, we'll be showing them there you know the respect that we do with everyone you know with them doing our due diligence and making sure we know their strengths and weaknesses and, and then taking in our game plan as well you did make a number of changes for the Carnarvon town game some yeah. good performances there from individual players yeah. how difficult is it going to be to choose the starting 11 for Saturday's game yeah it's always difficult because we've got a strong squad you know and I make no apologies or bones about it I'd like to strengthen again so coming up in January soon I'd like to bring more in so but to keep everyone competition healthy competition for places is you know I think it's um it's imperative we'll, we'll look at it and you know and the competition is on the the training pitch day in day out and, and that extends to obviously match day you know so not only now I, I think when everyone's fit it's it's really tough to get in the start 11 but also it's become competitive to get on the bench in the squad as well in the match day squad so I think um, yeah it's 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 probably the toughest part of the job no one likes leaving anybody out no one likes having conversations with players but um, if you're doing that then you've obviously got a strong squad. And you talk about new signings out or potential ones for the future. The recent addition to the squad, Luke Simpson, yeah. a goalkeeper. You'd been watching him for a while, Craig? Yeah, half, yeah, yeah. Luke's been on my radar for, radar for quite a while, you know, being um, with Connors Key as well. And so, so, yeah, Luke's, I've seen a lot of Luke, you know, he had a fantastic season last year with Kidderminster. They had the fantastic FA Cup run, you know, he's pivotal to that. He was voted um, goalkeeper of the season for, for the um, Conference North. 
with some big clubs in it and some good teams and some very good goalkeepers. So yeah, Luke's been um, he's got a lot of experience. Um, he's he's a he's a very good shot stopper. He's a, he's a very steady character and very straight down the line and, and you know brings huge competition to to Connor. And slightly different, of course, with a midweek game. The preparations are, are different in that sense. But how's it going overall as we look ahead to Saturday? Yeah, good, good. You know, obviously you've got to tailor your week accordingly when there's a midweek game. You know, you've got to just importantly get is get rest and recovery. You know, obviously the lads played last night. They were in this morning and they've, they've done a recovery session. And the lads who didn't play have done a top-up session and they'll have tomorrow off and have the opportunity to put their feet up and rest and recover and ready to train and travel on Friday. So it's important, the rest and recovery is um, as important, if not more important, when you've got three games in seven days. And finally, as we always ask, the availability situation of the players. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, obviously, you, you seen last night that Declan McManus wasn't in the squad at all. He'll be back in training on Friday, so Deck will be available again. So it's another, it's another body to it. So obviously, you see Ash Baker was back involved again yesterday. So really, the three main ones, the, the senior players, are you know Blaine Hudson, Josh Pask, and Jordan Williams. So apart from that, everyone else is fit and fighting for the competition for places.